Hello, my name is Alana and welcome to day seven of 28 days of self-love yoga, where I am posting a 15 minute yoga flow every day in the month of February, each with their own self-love focused affirmation. If you missed the first six videos in this series, I will have it linked in the cards here, as well as linked in a playlist at the end of this video. Uh, the focus for today's video is grounding, both grounding the mind into the body away from the external environment and grounding the physical body into the physical environment. So let's go ahead and get started. There's no props necessary. So we're going to begin in a narrow legged child's pose. If this doesn't suit your body, you can always bring your knees wide. But for the purpose of grounding today, we're going to start with the knees together. Lower your forehead down towards the mat and reach your hands back and grab onto the backs of your heels. Beginning to connect into your breath. Every inhale and exhale. And begin to deepen it. Begin to internally repeat the affirmation, I lovingly embrace all of my fears. I lovingly embrace all of my fears. On your next inhale, draw your arms up and overhead, lifting the hips, coming up to standing on your knees. And exhale, press your hands back, sitting your hips back towards the heels, narrow-legged child pose. Inhale to lift, rising up. And exhale, lower back down. Move through two more with your own breath. The next time you come up to standing on your knees, release your hands to your hips and turn to face the long edge of your mat. Make sure you're at the left edge of your mat so that you can extend your right leg out long towards your side. Inhale, reach your arms up and overhead and exhale to lean over the extended leg reaching the left arm up and overhead, coming into gate pose, opening the chest forwards and breathing into what you feel here. Inhale back through center and exhale release left fingertips down right fingertips up. Inhale to rise back through center and release your hands to your hips. Step the right knee back in and walk to the other side of your mat. <laughs> Extending the left leg out long at your side. Inhale, reach both arms up and overhead and exhale to slowly lean over the extended leg. I lovingly embrace all of my fears. Inhale back through center and exhale, lean to the right. I lovingly embrace all of my fears. Inhale to rise back through center and release hands to your hips. Step the left foot back in. You can come back to face the front of your mat, coming into all fours, stacking the knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. And begin to move through some cats and cows. So inhale, lift your chest forward, tailbone up. And exhale, round through the spine, pressing down through the palms and pulling the tailbone down between the knees. Inhale, up for cow. And exhale, round for cat. Moving through three more with your own breath. On your next inhale, come to a neutral spine 
and walk your knees back about three inches. Tuck your toes and send your hips up and back for downward facing dog. Pedaling out through the feet, bending into one knee and then the other. Before coming into stillness, so finding a gentle bend in the knees that you can hold, pulling the chest back towards your thighs, engaging through the arms and pressing down through your palms and your fingertips. Really gripping the mat here. Allow your neck to relax and take one deep breath in through the nose and exhale, sigh it out the mouth. One more. Inhale, look between the hands and step both feet to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Press the fingertips into your shins and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, slowly rise up to standing and roll your shoulders down and back. Heel toe, your big toes to touch, heels apart. And inhale, reach both arms up and overhead. Exhale, hands through heart center as you sit your hips down and back into a chair. Make sure that you can still see your big toes over your knees. Inhaling to lengthen through the crown of your head and exhaling to sink your root a little deeper. Exhale, forward fold. You can step your feet back to hip widths distance apart. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale to fold. Inhale to roll your spine back up to standing. This time walking your feet out to the outer edge of your mat, still angling your toes forward. Inhale, reach your arms up and overhead. And exhale, hands through heart center as you sit down into a wide chair. From here, extend your arms out in front of you and lower the torso down even more, about parallel with the mat. Begin to drop your hips, angle your toes out, and bring your hands through heart center, shifting into a yogi squat pressing your elbows into your knees, opening through the hips. Before releasing both hands back behind you and lowering down into a seat. Keeping both knees bent, you can either keep the feet flat on the floor and just extend your fingertips out. You can bring your hands to the backs of your thighs and lift the feet up off of the mat, keeping a bend in the knees. Or you can extend your legs, but I can't do that. So, you know, this is the variation that I'm going with. <laughs> so just remember to listen to your body and do what it's calling for today. Make sure to not sink down into your lower back. Keep your spine nice and lengthened for three, two, and one. Slowly roll down onto your back, hugging both knees into the chest. Maybe rocking from side to side a little bit. And then we begin to rock forwards and backwards, coming back up into a seat. Don't worry, we're not going back into boat pose. <laughs> Bring your soles of feet to touch. Allow your knees to splay open to the sides, and you can actually have your ankles kind of far away from your pelvis, because we're going to inhale to lengthen through the crown of your head, and then exhale, forward fold, maybe hooking your elbows on the outside of the shins, allowing the forehead to release down towards the feet. Slowly press into your palms to roll back up, 
bring your hands to the outsides of your thighs and close your knees and roll back down onto your back. Hugging both knees into the chest, this time taking both hands on the inside of both knees to grab onto the outer edge of both feet and pull the soles of feet up to stand on the ceiling like a happy baby. Maybe finding some rocking from side to side here, straightening through one leg and then the other. Just finding any movements that your body might be craving today. I lovingly embrace all of my fears. I lovingly embrace all of my fears. From here, bring both soles of feet to touch and lower the feet down, coming into a reclined butterfly position. You can rest your hands on your hips here if that feels okay for you, or you can always just rest them down at your sides. Regrounding into your breath in our last pose of class today. If you would like, you can stay in this butterfly variation for Shavasana or extend your arm or extend your legs out long. But either way, taking the time to reground into your breath and let today's practice sink in while internally repeating to yourself, I lovingly embrace all of my fears. I lovingly embrace all of my fears. Begin to bring some movement back to the fingertips and toe tips. If you had your legs in the butterfly variation, bring your hands to your outer thighs and gently pull the knees back together. Or if you had your legs extended, bend into both knees before rolling over onto your favorite side. Keeping your eyes closed and slowly pressing up into a seat whatever is most comfortable for you. Placing your hands on your knees or bringing hands through heart center and taking three final grounding breaths together, inhaling through the nose and exhaling to sigh out the mouth in three, two, and one. I lovingly embrace all of my fears. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this first week of self-love yoga. I hope you decide to stick around and if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like this video and subscribe down below if you haven't already because what are you doing if you haven't? There's a challenge going on. Like, stay tuned. There's more tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, with that being said, I hope to see you guys again tomorrow, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, guys.